Does no one does no one care about Thailand anymore? Does nobody care about Thailand anymore? Thailand just goes right out the window. It's all about who you know, huh? And there's a live stream now. There's a video going around about a live stream with Gypsy Rose and Jeffrey Star. People just want to just glom on anybody they can for the f***ing clout. And most of us can see right through it. But the kids that are watching, they just, they just can't. They, they can't. It's a problem. Okay? Normalizing it and glorifying it and celebritizing it. Gypsy Rose never saw a single ounce of fucking punishment for her crimes. Not an ounce. My dad went to prison for killing his fiance for 14 years. Yeah, he got sentenced 16 to 40. But he got out in 14. He got out early for good behavior. Yeah, yeah. Someone who has been a viciously violent drunk all his life. He's been viciously violent all his life. Yeah, he gets to get out early for good behavior. And, and here at Gypsy Man, Nick knows he stabbed her four times. He knows he stabbed her four times the day she did her in, did that other fucking 13 steps. Who stabbed her 13th? Did they say she was stabbed 17 times? Where the fuck did all that other whacking at her? Or even if it was just only seven. Still, I don't know. Who stabbed her that many more times, Gypsy? Hmm? Okay. She knew what she was doing, manipulating it. Okay, because he, he said he had multiple personalities to deal with past traumas and struggles. Right? She laid into that. She she claimed the same fucking thing. Did she not? Yeah. Is it not being with somebody I fell in part of the parole? And isn't it like an agreement of her parole to, you know, walk a certain path. She's straying from the path, okay? You know what that leads to? It leads to people reoffending. Something else about my dad. He couldn't leave the county, even. He couldn't leave the county. And here, she's able to just fly all over the fucking country? What the hell is that all about? And just... It makes my blood boil. Where was our fucking riches and fame, huh? Where's our notoriety and our story, huh? He used to force kids on my mom. Gypsy was just the only child. You know, yeah, her mom didn't have any other kids she could lay into and hurt and spend time with and waste time on. But my parents, they, 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 they could... They didn't want us. My, my mom didn't want us. My dad wanted boys to carry out the family name because he knew once the girls got married, our names would change and we'd take on the name of the husband and name our kids after them. Right? Yeah? Problem was a bitch. Should have knew better. All my dad's grandchildren are girls. One's a boy, but he doesn't talk to us, okay? It's my brother's ex, and she cut ties with our family and don't want nothing to do with us. And honestly, I can't say I blame her. The kids are probably better off than we are. My brother didn't want any songs anyways, and I think that was because he knew it. You know, they grew up to knock him out. Because he runs his mouth. Sometimes he just can't help it. He can't help it. He's got two girls, so 
And I got a girl. And our, our younger sister, she's got a girl. Our other brother, he ain't got no kids. He's... Thank God he ain't got any fucking kids. Some people just don't need them. And baby doll is one of them. Yeah, even finding my dad dead from drinking himself to death. And that scarring me to where I have a hand and drop a bruise ever since. I'm over here screaming recovery is possible. And all of the fuckwads in the comments. Well, not all the fuckwads in the comments, okay? I love some of you fuckwads down there. But then, there, you know, you got these little fuckwads in the comment section that they just they want to make you feel like it's all for nothing. It doesn't matter what you do anyway, you know? It is it's discourage, discouraging and disheartening, okay? I'm waiting on somebody to come fix the drain. Yeah, our sink is clogged. I thought it was fixed. I bought Drano and got a plunger on it, and, and, and it was fine. It went down. And then my husband used the dishwasher and the garbage disposal, and, you know, it's not going down. I mean, it's down now. But I, I haven't put no more water in it because I'm waiting on the guy. I don't want him to take the pipe apart and water to just go all over the place and me to have a whole nother mess to clean up. I ain't, I ain't trying to do all that. This trad wipe cleans enough. Cinderella's fucking done. I'm done. I lost my house. Lost my fucking rodents. Lost my family. I'm a failure. A few moments later. My 1814 dready head said about Jojo Siwa, I couldn't have said it better myself. The six-year-old in the audience out in the crowd, that's the fan. The parents that were there, they're not the ones that were there to see Jojo. They're just the chaperones, the chauffeurs, the Uber drivers. They're just the ride. The child in the audience, that's the fan. And her calling the parents awesome? There's so many people that are beefing about people taking children out to places like that right now, okay? And now here is Jojo up on stage saying that those parents are awesome. Am I the only one that sees that that sets a bad precedent for something wicked? There's something wicked this way coming. <laughs> Her name is Jojo Siwa. <laughs> She's not an artist. She's just a performer. She's a puzzle piece. She's a backup dancer. She's not an artist. There's a difference between creative talent and choreo choreographed talent, Jojo. And just because you wanted to go up overnight, it doesn't mean your audience did. If you wanted to change your image this much, you knew. You knew you were going to be the, doing this shit. So why the hell have you been stringing them fans along for these past few fucking years? Once you turn 18, you should have said, then that, that's it. You're done. No more bow in the air. I mean, you basically did, but you kept going back to it. You kept going back to it, Jojo. You stringing them fans along. Making, still making the fucking thirst trap content with the, 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 the kids. You're stringing them along. You, you should have grew up when you grew up and left them behind. Let a few years marinate before you go and start. Joining Pride Fest and shit. You know, I mean. You don't fuck with children. And, and, and have you learned nothing? And have you no shame? I mean, the fuck. The fuck. Oh, yeah. 
And don't even get me started on uh, uh, your fucking shit with Northwest. Northwest? What kind of fucking name? First of all, what kind of fucking name is that? The girl couldn't even be bothered to wear ears. Her hood couldn't even have fucking ears? What kind of shit is that? It was like Kanye had her dress for his fucking, uh, his little kid called, what is it, Donda, whatever, named after his mom, but his kid called, he was starting. This shit with the people corrupting the kids has got to stop. It has got to stop. And people are latching onto their names for the clout. It's all, it's all for the clout. They don't even care about fucking talent anymore. You know, some of us have what's called creative talent, and then others might have what's called choreographed talent, which is what Jojo Siwa has. She is just the type that's just waiting to be told what to do next. Sure, they can remember the moves and, you know, follow the steps and all that, but when it comes to setting up their own moves and coming up with their own style of dance, they, that's when you get this shit. And, uh, 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 uh. and then all that fucking noob de noob shit. The dumb shit JoJo came up with, she said she just did that dance one day and then just stuck and went viral and got people talking. If that's what she can come up with when she's doing a dance on her own, what the f is she still doing in the limelight? She don't have a choreographer telling her what to do anymore. She needs one, apparently. She wants to make thirst trap content. And I bet you, if she could, she would make thirst trap content out of the little stars that she created. Okay, the, the little kid pop band group. Those kids. What all have they really been through? You know? I mean, how the one... The one had the spina bifida and started bleeding through her belly button. And they told her to just tape a maxi pad on it to protect the costume from getting blood on the costume. It's not, you know, sit this one out and let the, you know, let's protect the child. No, 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 no. The performance is what's important to them. Then following the steps. Leave the kids alone. Just let the kids have a fucking childhood. Let the kids be kids. Don't open them up to the world of fucking adulthood so fast. It's awful. It kills me. Because I know that the nightmares never stop. I'm tired. I am. I'm I know that the nightmares never stop, though. And for me, it's hard to get any sleep because I'm afraid of my dreams turning into nightmares. That costume Northwest wore couldn't even be bothered. She couldn't even be bothered to have ears. I even wear ears when I mock people. I even wear ears. Where was the ears in uh, uh, The Lion King? How come Northwest didn't have ears? She just had on a hoodie. And the big fluffy fucking hoodie. She looked like Big Bird. She did, she looked like a bird. That didn't look like a cat at all. Big ass hood, like, the shorts she wore, they looked like something that a man would wear. It looked dumb. It, it, it didn't match the rest of the production. That was Disney. You would think. Disney would have had something big, but instead, no, no, they want to go towards views, view, eyes, they don't, people don't look for heart and shit anymore, they just learn, they look for what's going to get them attention for something else. It would have been a fine production for a school play, but not for fucking Disney, not for an anniversary show for fucking Disney. They use Kanye West's daughter. And you know what? I agree with that That one person that's saying she has the confidence of her dad and the talent of her mom. Not to harp on a kid or anything. But she was told she looked good, I bet. I bet she was told she looked so good wearing what she wore. 
everybody else looked like, you know, they were decked the fuck out. And here she is, in her outfit out for comfort. Like, she's getting ready for a damn sleepover. That's what she looked like. She looked like she was going to a sleepover. If you guys don't know Gypsy Rose Blanchard, just like a quick, like, elevator summary. She's a little girl who has uh, a mother who had been murdered by someone that she was dating. Her mother suffered from Munchausen syndrome, so she would continue to put Gypsy Rose in situations to have operations, to be taking medications, to essentially trap her alive at her age. It sounds like an absolute nightmare. So Gypsy is a player. I mean, she is out here at the tattoo shop with her ex-fiance. I don't know if she got a tattoo, but she's yeah. a She went blonde, and Gypsy is really trying to find her own, and I think it's such an interesting experience. Good no, Gypsy Rose. Mm -hmm. no, allegedly, this is Gypsy and Ken, her ex-fiance. Yep. Mm -hmm. This article that was announcing separation of Gypsy Rose and her husband Ryan, that's from March 29th, okay? In that article from March 29th, it says she confirmed on social media this week. March 29th was last week. So just little days ago, little days ago, she let us know the fire was not so fire. Uh, I'm curious what his tattoo is, and did Gypsy get one? Does anybody know that? Yes. They got matching tattoos of a husky. They've got huskies tattooed on them, and they're on opposite arms. So that when they're standing beside each other, the two dogs are looking at each other. Okay? She's telling you who she is, you guys. She's a fucking dog. And that is all. Okay? So now you know. She's getting a tattoo right here, but just curious minds want to know. So yeah, our girl Gypsy, she moves on quick. She's definitely mm -hmm. a relationship junkie mm -hmm. like myself. But here's the rest of our video about her separation. We became friends, and then of course we became friends, and then now we're married. And the D is... Gypsy and Ryan had only been married for four months when Gypsy was considering an annulment. I saw this coming from a mile away. I'm surprised it yeah. lasted this long. I could give a F, but it's not real life. All right, real Ryan life. Better watch his back because now his I bet she's waiting for Nick to go up for an appeal and try to get a bail. And then her rich little ass is going to fucking pay it. And that little Barney and Clyde couple... They, they will try to fight to get back together. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And sometimes I just get a feeling about something. And I got I got a feeling. And if you have any interest in whatever I might dig up. And what I find when, you know, after we're done unpacking. You know, because we moved. You know. Yeah. We did. It, it hurt too. It was, it was very hard to do. But, but, in any case, here we are. So, yeah, I'm hanging up. Please click the subscribe button. My voice is not always gone. My face is not always hidden. You just, you, you just, you never know what we're going to be doing next over here, okay? You just never know. You don't fuck with children!